Watersport and today we took out a Sea Ray Sunsport 250. This actually is a 2019 model which is nearly the same as the 2020 model. There are some minor things which have changed but uh, let me take you through it and uh, as usual we start at the bow. I'll start right here. It's a stainless steel anchor. This, by the way, is a used boat which we just traded in. So it is slightly used, it has 45 hours or so. And the owner who bought it new, uh, equipped it in a way that it was suitable to his needs. But I think this is a really nice specification. It has nearly all options, I think. Uh, and one of them is this stainless steel anchor and there's an electric anchor wrench uh, below this hatch. You may notice all the non-skid on an area such as this and this here. This sun lounge cushion is of course also removable. So if you are boating and if you want to uh, go forward, you can do it in a safe way because there's non-skid as I mentioned on the deck here. If you order the sun uh, lounge cushion in the bow area, you also need to order this bow rail which is slightly higher than the standard rails, which are, I think, here. And they are quite low, but this adds to the safety of having the uh, sun lounge area in the bow, where you can, of course, lie down. But again, this is a nice uh, feature and a safe feature if you want to grab on, if uh, you want to prevent uh, from falling overboard. This middle piece here can also be taken away. That, uh, is very practical when you want, want to have some um, natural light in the front cabin area. So that can be taken away. And of course, there's also, you may notice the zipper here, but there's, uh, it's attached here with the zipper, but with these small things here, you can um, use a cover to cover this um, uh, cushion area and bow and protect it from the elements. Of course, all the stainless steel, like the bow, the anchor, but also the cleats and the hinges, they are all made out of stainless steel, 316 quality, like we're used to from CRA. Uh, CRA is a builder that uses the best possible quality of, for all the parts necessary. Another thing, for example, is this rub rail which has a stainless steel insert, which not only gives it a very nice look, but is also something which doesn't damage easily. Of course, the middle section of the front window can be opened, and but I'll come back to that later. If you slide this to the right side, this is also a step on going to the bow area. And if you fold it open, you may notice this. This is to hold this middle section of the window. Um, cleats are, but you cannot see it here, um, because of course there are lines on uh, the cleats at the moment, but they have this nice C-Ray logo engraved, which I think is a nice detail of C-Ray. And this boat, boat also has the optional fender clips, and we took this as an example. You can 
attach a fender. Of course, this should be attached to a fender, but you can, uh, when you want to more, it's just a matter of doing this and taking it away just like that, which makes it very easy and practical to um, use fenders. Cup holders, there are four here on the, uh, in the transom area. Let me uh, take off my shoes while I go on board. So four cup holders here, a really nice transom sun lounge here. I tend to show how big it is. I'm one meter 92, a great area. And there's also a filler piece for this area. We took it off because of course we need to go on and off the boat. Uh, but also this boat has been installed with the optional teak, not only on the bathing platform and the walkthrough, but also in the cockpit. Gives a very classy, warm look, I personally think. But there's a filler piece here. And if you pretend that it's here, you can see I'm on meter 92. It's long enough even for taller people like me to lie down and enjoy the sunshine. This, let me show that briefly, but this can be tilted like this. There's a support below. And if you use the filler piece here, this can be used as a headrest. And this is to um, take up the stern drive when you, for example, take out the boat and put it on the trailer. This boat can still be trailered if you are slightly caref careful with the options and with all the uh, things you put inside because it's just on the edge of three and a half tons, including uh, a trailer. This boat we're, being, uh, we're offering for sale also and this includes an aluminium black powder coated trailer, a really nice combination. But if you are putting the boat on the trailer, you've got to take the stern drive up, you can do it from here without having to go on the boat and making everything dirty with uh, dirty shoes. This is an option that comes with the Premier uh, stereo option. So this is a remote for the audio. And this is another option, the outside shower. Really useful in areas where you have salt water and when after swimming you want to rinse yourself off and take away the salt. Another option that nearly everybody now orders is this submersible swim pl platform. I won't lower it any further, but this can be lowered and used as a nice way to sit here and um, just have your feet in the water in really hot climates, but it's also very useful if you want to, for example, put on your wakeboard, which can be quite cumbersome by just using uh, the bathing platform. But if you fold this down, you can already put the wakeboard in the water and that makes it a lot easier to put the wakeboard on. Of course, there's also a swimming ladder that is on this, this side, made out of stainless steel. And I think it's at least three steps Four steps even, it's four, a four step ladder, stainless steel, with a grab rail here uh, on the right spot. So you can go in and out of the water safely and comfortably. Behind here is of course the tow eye for the water ski line. But this boat also has the elevation package, which means it has this big targa mast with the sun top and you can of course attach the line for water skiing or wake boarding on top of that, making it very easy to come out of the water. But if you do a lot of water skiing or wake boarding, wake boarders tend to want to have a higher line because jumping from wake to wake is a lot easier because you more or less are floating in the air. Whereas if the line is attached here, you're being pulled down and also you're being pulled out of the water more easily. But not only that, when you use it for water skiing, another good and safer thing is that if you're maneuvering in the water and somebody's in the water and you need to go backwards a couple of meters, you could do that when the line is high because it uh, touches the water way behind the boat. Whereas if you do it here, you can basically not go backwards because the line uh, gets stuck into the propeller easily. 
These speakers also come with the Premier uh, Stereo. Premier ste Stereo being an upgrade where you have a subwoofer, a stronger, a stronger amplifier, the extra remote and extra speakers. And you may notice this, this is to attach the shore power cable because this boat has a uh, battery charger. So that is what you need the shore power connection for. What I cannot show you now, but what I can explain is that every C-Ray is usually ordered with di different covers. You can have um, just simple covers to um, cover the cockpit, for example. But what I uh, would like to explain to you is that you usually start at the bow going backwards and a very practical thing that C-Ray does is that at the end they have a small uh, a piece with a, an elastic band uh, pulling it over these knobs here. Whereas other brands tend to use only these and a cover usually tends to shrink which means that after a couple of months or maybe a season or two they don't fit anymore. That doesn't happen with the C-Ray because there's some flexibility because you pull it over. It's also simple to put it on or to take it off. So a very practical feature which is of course also done because uh, C-Ray has a lot of experience building boats. Coming uh, forward towards the cockpit, this is a huge and very sociable cockpit I would say. Let me put this in this position. If you fold out this table, you can see that this is a huge area. I could turn this around also. This is a huge area where you could seat, seat I think even up to eight people or so. A really very nice area and if you fold this even further of course you could use this as a sun lounge being sheltered when there's a chilly spring wind uh, so you could lie down here being sheltered again but also if you sit down here this is strong enough to also hold other people so you could even extend the number of people on board here let me take off my sunglasses making it a bit it a bit more personal um, you may also notice this honeycomb structure, which is used on this sunsport. The patterns change over the uh, different model years. So for 2020, it may be slightly different and I'm sure it will change for 2021. But I personally think this is a really nice setup. And of course, the ergonomics on the C-Ray are always really good with something to hang on to here, but not only there, also here and there. There's, so there's plenty of places to um, hang on to when you're boating in rough conditions. Cup holders of course here. Um, and again there's teak on the floor here. There's this uh, teak table which I think comes together in uh, the captain's package. But I, I really like this, Makes it, uh, gives it a really classy look, especially with the C-Ray logo engraved and, this, engraved and this small detail where you can put some drinks. There's storage below here. You, again, you can turn around uh, the seat at the steering position. And going back to practical details and also ergonomics, if you sit down here, there's always a grab rail on the right uh, position and an armrest. I like this patterning which is done throughout the boat. This whole piece here is more or less uh, an example of what the CRA does. It's all the attention to detail with a different patterning, different pattern here and every fiberglass piece on the side here is covered with this nice material, nice stitching, stainless steel grab rails, stainless steel cup holders, a light inside. There's lights here. This is the subwoofer which, which comes with the uh, audio upgrade. So again, really nice attention to detail. Non-skid here and that is again because this is used to go forward. When you open up this window here, you can go forward to uh, well take the anchor out or to moor the boat. And when you open it up like this, I always suggest using this because this goes so easy, like you can see here, that if you're boating and you don't do this and you make a turn, 
this could slide down unexpectedly, which can be dangerous. And of course, there's cabin in here. Let me quickly go in and show you how long it is. I'm one meter 92. And as you can see, this is long enough for me to sleep over. There's a toilet below here. This actually is a, uh, an electric toilet. There's nice ventilation through these portholes on both uh, sides. There's mosquito nets also available for those. There's a, a reading light on the other side. There's an escape hatch here. There's nice cushions on the side. And of course there's a filler piece for this area. So that you have a huge bed to sleep. Or for kids this is a great area. I, when my kids were really young we always loved uh, to take a boat out such as this one because this is a great area for kids especially uh, later during the day when they are a bit tired. You can uh, have them go in here, take off their swimming vests, use an iP iPad or a book and just, be, just have their own area and do some relaxing and being sheltered from the sun. Again, there's a toilet, toilet here which slides out like that. Really easy. So a nice cuddy cabin. Extra speakers here inside. There's reading lights on that side but also here. So um, I think a really great area. It's actually quite high even with my size. As you can see I can sit up right here and read a book. A nice mirror there. Which is not only practical but it gives it a roomy feeling also. And everything here is well, upholstered, this contrasting color here gives it a nice feel, nice stitching on the edges, yeah, really nice. So let me take you to the steering position. Um, the thing you may notice first is this what C-Ray calls digital dashboard, which I really like. It is more or less what other people call a glass display. So this is completely flush, gives it a very clean and modern look, but it's also very practical because you have all the info you need right in front of you. I don't know why this is doing uh, this, but it's probably because we're moving around. We set this up with the Navionics Platinum Plus charge, which I personally like because you have this 3D setup with a um, satellite overlay over land. Of course you can all install all kinds of things. If you're in an area where the depth of the, of the water is important you could have this blue area which of course is water. You could also have the, um, the depth in different uh, sections, shown in different sections which can be useful. Here now you can see engine data. It says it has a communication error because the engine is not running. But you could do all kinds of other things. Um, of course you could show charts here, uh, the echo sounder. And you can do lots of uh, things with these nice Simrad displays. Another nice thing uh, with these displays is that they're always, they have a really good visibility. Even with, a polar, with polarized sunglasses, it seems to be obvious that you can still see this, but I've noticed that there are different uh, setups with navigation equipment where if I put my polarized glasses on I just cannot see the screens anymore. Not with these beautiful Simrad displays. Another nice thing is this Fusion setup. This also comes with the Premier Stereo. Of course you can link it via Bluetooth. You could even link it with the boat next to you so that you both have the same music on. Uh, which I think is called a party mode, a really nice feature. It sounds like a play thing, but trust me, we've used it even on boat shows where we have 10 boats or so. It's really nice to have the same music on all the boats which are there. Um, there's as an option on the water lights that boat, this boat doesn't has the, have that, but this boat does have docking lights in the bow, which is, uh, I think, not only very practical when you tend to drive during evenings or nights, but it also looks really classy. There's a wiper here on this side that again seems to be obvious but other brands usually don't even have that as an option. Uh, of course the blower, the horn, every 
control is here and also made in, with these nice stainless steel switches with a light on indicating that it's either on or off. A nice C-Ray steering wheel with the C-Ray logo and of course it can be tilted like we're used to with uh, C-Ray. And something I would certainly recommend on a Sunsport but on a lot of other boats too is this bow thruster. Um, I always say I can, I've, I'm quite an experienced boaters, boater and I can even being alone take a boat into a really difficult corner but if I tend to do that with a force 5 from the side and I, want, and I need to go backwards in a really tight spot I just don't do it when I don't have a bow thruster but when I do I just feel safe enough to do it. This not only is very practical and comfortable but also a safety feature. Um, what else am I forgetting? Um, of course cup holders again here, there are even three here and again the nice uh, honeycomb pattern here and if I fold down this of course this flip up seat is very convenient especially when you do wakeboarding or if you're mooring the boat you have a good overview. It can be also nice when it's over 30 degrees or so and you want to feel the, the wind through your um, uh, on your face this can be a nice feature but if you want to sit down in a more relaxing position like I'm doing now uh, this can be really nice with a really high backrest feeling very comfortable very sheltered an armrest here on exactly the nice the right place the controls here on the right place steering wheel is uh, in a proper setup in a proper way of course this slides forward and aft but even a reclined footrest is a nice detail but makes it very practical. Of course there are tinted windows. I like this black powder coated window frames. Uh, this boat has a lot of nice features and I think this is a beautiful classy combination of different colors and uh, luxury details. Okay, let me start up the engine and let's take her out for a spin. There's a few things that I forgot to uh, mention just now. Um, this water sports tower uh, is included uh, with the uh, elevation package. But it also comes when you order the package with uh, wakeboard racks which are attached to the sire and which swivel inside that you, so that you can either store or take off the wakeboards easily. And some people may also find it interesting to, for a change, see the engine room area which is right here. This boat has the Mercruiser 6.2 liter multi-point injection 350 horsepower, a great smooth and powerful engine and a few things that you may also notice and see is the um, automatic fire extinguisher. Every Sea Ray has an automatic uh, fire extinguisher of a very high quality so that adds to the safety uh, you can see the light there used on top uh, as a, an anchor light and you may also notice the cabling which is done in a way that it's installed safely and it doesn't, uh, it's not installed in a way that it can damage on uh, sharp edges like this for example. It's, it's uh, made in a way uh, that it doesn't fly around when you're driving in rough uh, conditions. Also the engine, uh, sorry, the batteries which are on that side are fixed properly, um, a very clean and tidy engine room with a, a proper two actually two proper gas struts so that it's quite easy to take this up or down. The main switch is here and this is the smaller uh, foot uh, or the smaller support for the table I should say here which uh, so that you can lower the table fold it out and you have a filler piece here. Let me close this down for the noise by the way. Uh, so that you can put this down and put the filler piece in and you have a great area to do some extra sun lounging. Okay, put in the proper driving position again. Let me put up the man overboard cord and let's take her out. Um, this again still is on the 3D mode with the satellite overlay great area. Marina is here by the way, this is us. So a beautiful area. 
And here we now have the engine data. Speed here on this side, RPM. Here again, speed over ground. You can see the trim. We still have 73 liters of fuel. And this is an interesting uh, piece of data. Eco GPS, shown here in kilometers per liter. This means that the higher the figure is, the more uh, distance you achieve per liter of fuel. So trying to find the optimum speed uh, where you have the highest uh, range is a matter of looking at this figure here so that you know what the optimum speed is. And I think by heart with this boat it is around 45 kilometers or so, which is actually quite fast. And then it does around one to one. So one kilometer per liter, which is a really good figure for quite a heavy boat with a 350 horsepower engine. Again, the ergonomics on this boat are really nice. Let me tilt this down a bit. This is probably still in the flip up high position. We're now doing 1400 RPM, 10.9 kilometers an hour. Let me check around. We don't want to uh, bother other people in the area. And let me gradually take her up the plane. 1700 RPM. I'm not giving full throttle uh, right away because of the camera. So I'm pressing the controls gently to take her out of the water. But it is a very powerful engine, so I barely have to touch the controls to take her up the plane. We're now doing slightly over 3000 RPM, 35 kilometers an hour. And this actually is quite a good economic speed, 1.14 kilometers per liter. And if I increase the speed, it's still quite a nice and silent boat. You may notice, of course, I'm sitting behind the windscreen trying to uh, protect the microphone from the wind. And of course, it's difficult to explain, but I find these sea rays to be very nice and quiet. We're now doing slightly over 3000 RPM, already doing 40 kilometers an hour. 1.18 kilometers per liter, really good. <clears throat> Let me take the speed down just a notch. As you can see, 46 kilometers an hour, 45, 1.2 approximately kilometers per liter. Really good. Okay, let me see what you can do. Find some space here. probably haven't heard me because of uh, the wind and the speed, but we managed to do 75 kilometers an hour approximately, which is quite fast for a 25 foot boat with this, with all these options and the 350 horsepower McCruiser engine. With that, I'd like to wrap up uh, this video. Thank you for watching. Um, let me also mention that we usually have quite a few boats in our showroom. 
this actually is a boat which we traded in has only 45 or 50 hours and is as new we're selling it with warranty please see the link below this video but we have many other new sea rays many slx uh, sun sports of the full range we have most models in stock in our beautiful showroom so let me also invite you to uh, come over but again thank you for watching and i hope to see you in one of our next videos